Good day and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob and want to thank you for joining me. Yesterday we stopped to take a look at our practical uh, everyday uh, to-do list of tasks to be accomplished. And we examined it to see if there weren't at least some items on it which might stir up uncomfortable stress inside for us, anxiety or worry. <clears throat> More specifically, what we did is we mapped out any negative storylines which might be embedded in our tasks, even if they're slightly hard to locate. They can be sometimes kind of subtle or even invisible. I'm just curious, what did you discover in the exercise? The stress of our getting things done uh, uh, is oftentimes, in my experience, associated less with the task itself. We tend to think it's the task, it can be associated less with the task itself and more with the additional baggage that comes connected with that task. And we were describing that negative baggage as being negative storylines. When the depressor comes at us with negative storylines, it's understandable that we react <clears throat> with the fixer. We want to fix or uh, solve the problem of the depressor. Uh, the greater problem is that if we try to solve this, this uh, sense of feeling stressed, being stressed out by our negativity, if we try to solve that problem in the red alert brain mode that we've been talking about by bringing in another strategy which itself is based in similarly stressed survival-based thinking, that is to say more red alert brain. So when we try to solve the red alert brain by bringing in more red alert brain, well, I think you have an idea how that goes. In math, it would be this, zero times zero equals zero. So for today, I want to ask us once again to begin our exercise with uh, our applying mindfulness resources, and then we'll revisit uh, yesterday's to-do map. So I want you to start off, please, by uh, just spending five minutes uh, focusing on uh, your breath mindfully. The instructions are brief. I'll read those to you if you haven't been here before, and then take about five minutes to apply this, and then we'll move to the second part, which will be back to a, uh, a, a second mapping of the to-do map. So let's start by closing your eyes, then begin to slowly breathe in through your nose. Notice as your stomach slowly rises when you inhale, Notice that it slowly falls as you exhale. Now you're gonna continue doing this. And as you do this, you'll notice that thoughts and sensations very likely will kind of come into focus and out of focus. If your mind wanders in this exercise from, from the breath, and it's likely it will, just gently return your attention to the rising and falling of your stomach with each successive breath. That's the exercise. So take five minutes to do just that. And once you've done that, I want to ask you next to make note of any differences between your review today of your to-do map. So you're gonna look at those items on your to-do map following mindfulness, and you're gonna compare them with yesterday's to-do map that you did without mindfulness. So I'm gonna ask you again to look and see is your mind more or less cluttered today versus clear as you review your to-do map? Is your body more or less tense versus relaxed? Again, as you review today's to-do map compared to yesterday's. In this state of mind, after you've meditated with the mindfulness of the breath, how do you feel emotionally? What's the feeling tone? And how might you act based on this state of mind and body? Let's see how you can begin to prioritize daily tasks while simultaneously cultivating what we've been calling resting brain. So rather than moving into red alert brain with its negative storylines as we're facing our to-do list, what would it be like to face that same to-do list, the tasks to be accomplished, but out of a resting brain perspective? Let's see what you find out, okay? In the meantime, I want to thank you again for spending part of your day with, with me here at your Vitality Project. It's much appreciated. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you again. Hope you'll come back tomorrow. And in between now and then, please stay safe and be well.